Hey there, uh, I just finished uh, making my generator shed, so I thought I'd share with you some of the details of how I made it, and uh, try to post some details, so if you have any questions uh, after that, I can respond in the comment section below. Basically, I was going to make my own wooden shed for my generator, but when I price out all the materials, it was actually cheaper to buy this Suncast shed. Uh, this shed was $199 at Lowe's and I'll show you all the product information when I get done. I'll just do a quick walk around. You can see the left side I put a large return air grill down the bottom. I just cut out a big section and screwed that in with all stainless steel screws. Here you see the, the front side of the shed. I put two air return vents up up in the upper part of the door. Again they're just uh, off the shelf return vent grills. I bought all the stuff at Lowe's <clears throat> so I just walked around and found everything I needed. They actually had a shed there out in the garden section so I was able to take the grills and go out and um, fit them in and get the ones that I, I needed. And then on uh, the right hand side here I put an automatic shutter in where I have a fan inside which I'll show you. I have it plugged in for right now just to show you how it operates. I'm not going to run the generator right now because I have it in my garage temporarily until I put it outside. <clears throat> and on the back, you can see down here where I have my exhaust. Um, I did something a little bit different, uh, learned from some of the videos on YouTube. I actually used some hardy backer. I cut about a uh, 8 inch square hole through the shed and then in the hardy backer I cut a 4 inch diameter hole and my ductwork goes through there. And this is just an off-the-shelf metal through the wall dryer vent. So uh, I use that for the back. So this is what my shed looks like on the inside. You can see uh, this is where I cut the uh, cut through. Just use a regular jigsaw to cut that out to put the air vents on both sides, as you see. Here's my generator. Um, I got this last year at Costco. It's a 9,000 starting watts, 7,000 running watts. It's got 110, uh, 220 as well. It's got electric start, remote start, pretty large. Uh, I think it's about an 8 gallon gas tank. That was about uh, $6.99 at Costco. Uh, you can see in the back, I used a piece of Hardy Backer. That's about $12, again, at Lowe's or any other big box home improvement stores. That's to um, reduce the heat load on the back where I have my exhaust goes out through the back. I put a little uh, LED light up here so when I go out in the dark, I can push that on. It's battery operated just to help see. And then uh, what I did over here is I bought a, a gable mounted um, attic fan. It's built to handle a 1900 square foot attic, so pretty substantial. <clears throat> Uh, so you can adjust the thermostat there. I just have it set pretty low right now at 60 so it goes on. So when I'm operating the generator that'll just uh, plug right here into the to the 110 uh, outlet right there. Up here I have a remote uh, temperature sensor so in the house I'll have a display so I'll be able to keep track and monitor the um, inside temperature here. And then in the back and a lot of people like to know what people do for the exhaust. So what I did is I used a, uh, a four inch to three inch uh, reducer. I screwed some angle brackets. I bought some rare earth magnets and that just uh, kind of sticks right on the side. I left everything intact in the generator so it can still be used as a portable generator. And then I uh, cut a four inch hole again just with a jigsaw. So that goes right through the hardy backer. It doesn't touch the shed at all. It's got a little bit of room for vibration. And again, you'll see that just is connected right here. So it comes right out the back. So the exhaust will come out the back. I didn't try to put a muffler or anything because uh, where I live, I'm not really worried about the sound. It's gonna be outside <clears throat> away from my house about 25 feet. So uh, I'm not really concerned about uh, quieting the noise. I just wanted to get the heat uh, out of the shed so the generator can run uh, more smoothly. So here I'm going to show you some of the parts that I use to make the shed. 
the uh, large um, return air grill there. That is a uh, 20 by 20. And again, all this stuff was bought just off the shelf at Lowe's. Just kind of walk around and find the right ones. I use some smaller ones for the other sides. This is the product information for the shed. It's a horizontal utility shed from Lowe's. Probably have the thing, <clears throat> same thing at Home Depot. Here's the um, product number. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> Here's my uh, display. <clears throat> so this will be in the house. This has your uh, inside temperature and your outside temperature. The lower one is the outside temperature. So that's that sensor that I showed you. It will be inside the shed telling me what the temperature is inside the shed when it's operating. <clears throat> This is what they call an automatic shutter. <clears throat> that really just means it opens up when the fan goes on. But uh, there is a model number, uh, and a part number. Again, this is off the shelf at Lowe's. This is a little pricey for what you get. It's about $39. Um, <clears throat> this is the uh, gable mounted attic fan. This is a little pricey too, but <clears throat> it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's made for attics up to 1,900 square feet. It's probably a 14-inch fan, and I just bought a, uh, a cord and hooked that right up to the cord, which will plug right into the generator. And uh, this really will fit any generator, but this is the one that I picked out after doing a lot of research. It's a Champion. <clears throat> Pretty good rating. Um, it's a Costco, $6.99 they have it right now for this generator. And again, it's about 7000 watts so that should run most of the stuff in my house. This is something else I picked up from somebody else had this idea. This is a LED emergency light. I'm going to put this in my uh, electrical room in my basement so when the power goes out this light will go on and light up my electrical panel. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, what most people do <clears throat> is uh, I'm going to have a, a cord. It's going to be a 10-3 cord about 25 feet long it's going to connect right into the, um, the 220 outlet right there and then I'm going to have a um, 30 amp breaker in my house with a lockout switch uh, that will be connected to a, an outlet so I'll have two male plugs, one connecting to the generator, one connecting to the outside outlet and that will be wired directly to a 30 amp breaker in my panel and then I'll have a lockout switch so the, uh, the main has to be turned off before the generator power can go on. I, I know there's a lot of other videos of how you can do that, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, and again, this is all going to be mounted outside, actually on a platform, um, because I do have some flooding issues in my area. It's going to be elevated up on a four foot high platform. So I just want to show you really the construction of the box. Um, probably have uh, about uh, $500 total into this between the fan, the shed, all the, uh, the parts and stuff, and then the generator on top of that was about $700. So about $1,200 here. I have a couple more things to get to hook it up to the house, but definitely much cheaper than a you know, whole house generator. doesn't function quite the same way, but if you're trying to do things on a budget and you're handy and you like to customize things, uh, this is the way to go. So uh, if you have any questions, you can post them down below in the comment section. But I hope you enjoyed my uh, just a brief uh, walk around of my generator shed. Again, I'll just show you one more time. I put a little wheel stop in there. Gable mounted fan. the shutters over there. You can see what that looks like. Put that off to just close automatically. And then again at the back will be my exhaust. And this is just a, a dryer vent. But it's all metal. There's no plastic. I did put a magnet in there too to keep it open so it doesn't uh, heat up at all. And again, this is just some hardy backer. I just bought one sheet. That's about um, five foot by three foot. So I cut one foot off, 
to make it fit in the shed and then I screwed it again with these are stainless steel screws screwed it to the shed cut a big section out so there's no plastic uh, anywhere near the vent inside there I know some guys have used plywood and whatnot this is pretty easy to work with it's uh, basically made out of like concrete it's fireproof uh, it's only a quarter of inch thick it's $11.99 for a sheet of hardy backer so um, I think it's going to work out real well so um, there you have it hope you get some good ideas and uh, what I'll do is I'll post some pictures once I get it uh, mounted outside and have it all hooked up to my house but thanks for watching talk to you later